What's up guys, AJ here. So I'll be checking out this special program for Honkai Star Rail version 1.1 which is supposed to air on the 26th but got delayed to the 27th due to technical difficulties. I was unable to watch this live because I was working at the moment of time so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to watch this special program as it hits my eyes directly and treat this sort of like a direct reaction. I was hoping that Kafka will be out in this version 1.1 but after seeing Hoyo vs Dread marketing on Twitter and the thumbnail of that of the special program, it is very high likely that Kafka will be in version 1.2 along with Lady. Anyway, let's um, fire this thing up and see what the special program has in store for us. In the last few days, our team has received some incredible intel from an anonymous source. Right. A mysterious Stellaron burst has occurred aboard the Sienjo La Fu. Mm -hmm. Today, we're lucky to have with us in the studio the La Fu Skyfaring Hellmaster Madam Yukong, as well as Mr. La Cha, a traveling Yukon merchant Cha, currently eh? staying on the ship. Madam Yukong, what's the latest on the La Fu situation? Well, for the most part, the Stellaron crisis has been brought under control. We've evacuated affected areas, and life has returned to normal in the safe zones. I see. Mr. Lacha, I hear you experienced the crisis first so basically, okay. What was it like on the ground? Well, I was trapped in the Law Fu's Cloud Fort Harbor at first. It was only thanks to the Cloud Knights, and a fortuitous encounter with kindly strangers, that I was able to escape unharmed. That's the Sienjo Alliance. I knew you guys had everything under control. <clears throat> I should mention that over the course of this crisis, we've witnessed a lot of suspicious activity. We believe the infamous Stellaron hunters are responsible. We now have two suspects in our custody, Blade and Kafka. Unfortunately, their accomplice is still on the loose. So do you still uh, think that the um, We're talking about the hacker girl, right? The, um, wolf. I heard she infiltrated the Sienjo systems. Oh. She actually leaves behind a calling card. Like this one? Oh! Exactly! Just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. And now we're uh, jumping right into the this trailer place already. This is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. Alright, let's get going. We have to move quickly. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. You can challenge the space station, but challenge me? <laughs> Good luck. Oh boy, okay. Welcome to Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. As you can see, the interior looks brand new. New area in Bellabog? But we're in a bit of a bind. Our exhibit was stolen. Is this the music? Whoa! What? Gosh, huh? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Let's settle this. And we have an introduction to Gosha. Never let your guard down in front of your enemy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a new character. Who's that? Who was that character at the end? Okay, who was that one character at the end there? Huh? Okay, on a side note, the, the, the trailer is not that bad. Hold on, please. The trailer is not that bad, but it kind of lacks impact to be very honest. But I did it very and from the look of things right we have um looks like we'll be getting a brief introduction on um Silver Wolf, Lorcha and Yukon. But I'm just curious, what does um 1.1 1 
has in store for us other than that will be um, the, the fact that we will likely will be getting a character banner for Silver Wolf and Wacha along with Yuko Let's let's see what uh, let's see what's going on. Woo! And whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hello. As always, it's your host and good buddy Albert. Welcome to the Hong Kai So Star Albert is voiced by Bill Butts. Right. Galactic Roaming Special Program. Hello, Hello. Hello. good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Today. We've invited three special guests to be with us on the program. Introduce them. Hi guys, my name's Melissa Fun, and I voice Silver. Oh, okay. Hey folks, my name's Craig Lee Thomas, and I voice La Cha. Hi everyone, I'm Don M. Bennett, and I voice Yu Kong. Pleasure to have you with us. And now, without further this is like, ado, let's this get is like one of those um, late, um, talk shows that What's we new, see on well, national judging television. Judging from the trailer we just saw, it looks like all three areas got In some the form updates. Of, um, Kurt, space station, I like this format. And the Sienjo Lafu. I don't know if you noticed, Where but Albert is the host the while, the, the, while the voice just actors saying. are the guests. I like this format. I like this format. Speaking of Silver Wolf, I hear our notorious Stellaron Hunter is planning another visit to Genius Society territory soon. Okay. Let's take a close look at this little troublemaker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, here's a gameplay on um, Silver Wolf. Quantum Element. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the first time we saw this mysterious girl was back at the start of the story. That's right. And they even showed us all of the, the, the voice um, when you're the first one on the scene. But all of the voice actors I for think she Wolf, couldn't unlike have in uh, Genshin Impact. Well, in Genshin Impact, <laughs> they just really show better. us um, what role the English Sugar one. Have if it's in Eng if it's in the English <laughs> special program, they will only She's show the English one and the Japanese one. Lots well, over here, know right? How. They show hack, they, they show all of the names back. like the the it's English one is voiced by who, who she is, the Japanese so. one is voiced by who, on the Chinese one is voiced by who, and the Korean one is voiced by who. That's how she located the Stellaron. Let's not forget the Sanjo. I Joe. hope that the, she hacked the, into the Law Fu systems and I guided the Astral Express crew onto the ship. Special program four point four. You guys know that this is all. Genshin does something similar right. as the, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. the special program I for guess what we're Genshin Impact does something like similar as this. Breaking through any and all defense systems. That's why she's useful anyway, back to, to uh, the Silver Wolf. Uh, so um, Silver Wolf, Quantum Element, and she's the Nihiliti. Nihiliti is basically she's the the, oh, the, the debuffer that in the a, a here, debuff character. There, it's a vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this probably won't come as a surprise to anyone, but. She's a gamer. In fact, she sees the universe as a game in itself. And she's playing to win. She mm -hmm. actually uses a lot of gamer slang in conversation. Not everyone picks up on it, though. <laughs> I got it. So it's fair to say she's uh, kind of a nerd? <laughs> you could in say way, that. Yes. She's also not I'm a gamer great myself. at socializing. Really? Huh. <laughs> she always struck me as pretty outgoing. Hmm. I guess she does have a lot of friends. Hold up a second. She's an outgoing nerd with poor social skills and a lot of friends. <laughs> That's quite the combo. Well, if you struggle to make friends, why not create your own? Melissa, you're talking about imaginary friends, right? Oh. I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let me explain. I'm talking about the AI modules in her weapons. Okay. See these little guys on her character artwork? Uh -huh. That's friend. There's devil. This one over here is white collar. Oh, and this one's uh, servant. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know which one is which, but okay. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty adorable. When Silverwolf talks about her team of professionals, she's talking about these guys. Oh, hold on a second. Since when did AI become so adorable? <laughs> <laughs> really, we're making it real easy for the machines to take over. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, now we do it. We, well, I think she's been able to we do have such a fearsome like, reputation at such a young age. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> and now we do it. Well, 
Silver Wolf is a quantum type character following the path One of the She can apply different debuffs to enemies to improve her ally's combat superiority. In particular, her skill can inflict a weakness on enemies. Mm -hmm. The weakness she inflicts matches a random ally's attack type. Which is to say that even if nobody on her team has an attack type which matches an enemy's weakness, Silver Wolf can create a weakness that will correspond to an ally's existing strength. Exactly! In ah. addition, every one of Silver Wolf's attacks has a chance of inflicting the enemy with a random bug. There so are three kinds a... of bugs, okay. which reduce the enemy's attack, defense, and speed, respectively. Mm. Okay. okay. And outside of combat, Silver Wolf can use her technique to attack an enemy and enter battle. Okay. Regardless of enemy weakness, she deals damage to all enemies Ooh. and reduces their toughness. If Silver Wolf breaks an enemy's weakness with her technique, it triggers the quantum weakness break effect, right? Okay. Yes, that's right. What else was I going to mention? Uh, oh, <laughs> her ultimate. Silver Wolf's ultimate has a high chance of reducing the enemy's defense in addition to dealing damage. I love okay. that animation. It's like Why? something out of a rhythm game, right? <laughs> see, I'm starting to see what you mean by the universe being a game to her. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stop there, either. Did I mention her ability names? There's System Warning, mm -hmm. Allow Changes, Awaiting System Response, Force Quit Program. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. Oh, was there one called a 10 set guarantee? Ooh, ooh, Boy! Single Warp Miracle. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> I see what you. I see you. Sadly, not. I see Her you. Ultimate's called user banned, though. <laughs> oh, I, I know see what you. That means. Banned out of existence. Yeah, I guess the scary olds would need the scary name. Well, it's time to move on to the CN Joe's mysterious visitor, Lotcha the Traveling Merchant. All right. Ooh. Next up, we have um, Lotcha the Traveling Merchant. I believe he's um. Abundance, right? Abundance, uh, in other words, he's uh, the healer. Because prior to this special, yeah, yeah I was bad. right. Man, he's no the abundance, in other words, the healer. Gentlemanly demeanor, but they say he's hiding the secret. What do you think, good guy or villain? Um, he seems very suspicious. What? Really? How so? Oh. Imagine some guy waltzes into your hometown dressed like an aristocrat from another planet, but he knows all the local customs. You'd be a little taken aback, right? Hey, I think you're being a little hard on the guy. Some tourists do their research. Uh-huh. Well, mm -hmm. don't you think his healing abilities are a little mysterious? They came in pretty handy during the Stellaron crisis. Yeah, I mean, if I'm a traveler merchant, I'm gonna want some first aid skills under my belt. Exactly. It's a dangerous career. Career, huh? Are you sure that's how he makes a living? We haven't seen him trade a single thing. <laughs> well, I feel like this guy already made his fortune. Maybe traveling merchant is just what super rich tourists like to tell people. <laughs> Jeez, okay. you guys have an answer for everything. Is this the Lawcha <laughs> fan club or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. well, what no, about I, the I'm making this uh, special program already. Nothing the ordinary there, right? Nope. Uh, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, more, that's it, suspicious. This special I'm program feels so more sure. like a Everyone needs show. a conversation Very starter, honest. right? Especially traveling merchants. Think about it. I'm if not, you I'm walk not, past this I'm guy, the like coffin's this gonna draw your attention, than, right? Genshin. You'll probably ask him about it. Before we'll you know it, we'll see. he sold you a new set of shower curtain rings. <laughs> you know, something... Uh, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Pretty smart. I see. And if you find people are in need of a few shower curtain rings, I happen upon the finest collection of authentic Sienjo bathroom wear. Beautiful stuff. Low prices, too. <laughs> Todd's in the original question here. Is Lotcha a good guy or villain? Uh, back to, uh, back back to the point, huh? <laughs> back to the point. All right, then. Yes, all you trailblazers have to make up your own minds. Why don't we yeah. take a look at his ability? Ooh, now we're talking. Okay, we get to know more about Lotcha. Lotcha is an imaginary um, type character following the path of abundance. For a man with medical knowledge, it's not surprising that he's strong on protection. He can offer healing too and dispel debuffs from his allies. For example, Lotcha's skill can restore an ally's HP. 
Hmm. And Abino. When the HP of any ally falls below a certain percentage, mm -hmm. Wacha uses his skill on them without consuming any skill points. Hmm. This effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Okay. Emergency. Emergency healing. healing. Huh? Okay. Board for cool. team survival. Sure is. After unlocking a special trace, using Lacha's skill also dispels a debuff from an ally. Yeah. Just like Natasha. Using Lacha's ultimate death wish. Natasha also has the, the special and deals imaginary um, trace damage where... to all enemies. Not only she, words, um, if you've got an not enemy she heals the an ally character, but dispels a um, debuff as well. Lacha has an important role to play. Precisely. And here's something else. Every time Law Cha uses his skill or ultimate, he grants himself one stack of Abyss Flower. Now, abyss when the flower. Abyss Flower reaches a certain number of stacks, Law Cha deploys a field against the enemy, which lasts for a set number of turns. When the field is active, allies recover a set amount of HP whenever they make an attack. And that's okay. not all. After unlocking a special trace, attacks Another against trace. enemies in the field can restore ally HP. Cool, mm. it's like a force field of healing. During exploration, when Law Cha uses his technique, Mercy of a Fool, mm -hmm. his field will be immediately generated at the start of the next battle. Ah, oh. hey, Mr. Law Cha. Well, that's Mysterious cool. Mysterious origins. Well, that's a cool mechanic. Ordinary skills. Gotra is definitely a top tier um, healer from the way I see it. And oh my. Oh my. Oh my. That Yukuni is kinda. kinda hard, not gonna uh, There's somebody else here we gotta get to. I'm talking about the elegant, Sky Baron Hellmaster, Madam Yukon! Oh, she's Hamuni! Well, imaginary cars, harmony. cargo, passengers, all the way through to the Air Force, the Skyfaring Commission words, is in she's charge a of all matters relating to flight. She buffs allies. Yifong is the head of that commission, so the above falls right under her remit. Nice. Speaking of flight, like, it seems um, like star Qing skips Yin, are the most Qing emblematic a, a means of transportation well. on the Cienjo. The path of the harmony. Yeah, they're a common sight in the Cienjo skies. You can't can fly them, right? <laughs> I'd say she's pretty handy with a star skiff. <laughs> When she was young, it was Yukong's flying skills that saw her promoted by the general. That's how she joined the Skyfaring Commission. She soon became an ace among the other pilots. Huh? <laughs> That's not the story I heard. <laughs> All right, you got me. Here's the director's cut. Yukong ran six red lights in a row. She what? was dragged straight in front of the general uh, and... I get the picture. Sometimes rebels get noticed. <laughs> You're only young once. <laughs> six red lights, huh? Disclaimer, trailblazers, don't try that at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, her rebellious streak might like be I said, I'm, I'm lacking this um, special ever. program Tom, already. Give us the lowdown. Coming right up. Yukong is an imaginary type character following the path of harmony. Mm -hmm. Her skill emboldening salvo grants her two stacks of roaring bowstrings. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases. All Yukon allies? Uses one stack of Roaring Bowstrings with every allied turn. In other words, Yukong's skill can increase allies' attack for two turns. You got it. During exploration, using Yukong's technique increases her movement speed for a set time. Wow. It also allows her to obtain two stacks of Roaring Bowstrings at the start of the next battle. Ooh, sounds like a good recipe for shaking off enemy pursuers. Exactly. <laughs> Using Yukong's basic attack triggers her talent seven oh, layers, I one want arrow, her to be which honest, deals additional but... damage and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack. This effect Not can be mission. triggered she's, again she's after hard. a set number of turns. <laughs> to top it off. Ah. When Yukong unleashes her ultimate, Diving Kestrel, mm -hmm. she deals imaginary damage to a single target. Single target? When Bowstrings is active, its effect is enhanced increasing the crit rate and crit damage of all allies. Cool. Her days on the front lines may be over, but Yukong's skills didn't go anywhere. Maybe one day, we'll get to see her take flight once again. Ooh, here's hoping. Man, we're really spoiled for choice with these characters, huh? Still, let's not forget what else we've got coming up. So what's next? Version 1.1, we'll be welcoming two brand new light cones to the warp. Okay. First up, two new light cones. Rain. Bubble gum in the rain, huh? That's a mood. <laughs> this is this <laughs> is definitely for um, is Silver Wolf. <laughs> you got that right. Someone don't want to tie to the room. 
<laughs> so true. <laughs> She's like, I told you, Kafka. I'm gonna tidy it. As soon as version 1.1 finishes downloading. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> the second light cone is the path of abundances. Echoes at the coffin. This is definitely yeah, um, it looks like a snapshot. This is um, Lord Shaw's um, signature uh, light cone. Talking to the coffin? Wow, looks like some kind of thorny vines are emerging from beneath the lid. So many questions. I get a sense of mystery and elegance, but there's also a kind of tenderness and fragility here, don't you think? Well, one thing's for sure. If people weren't curious about La Cha's coffin yet, they are now. Just a man in his ornately decorated vine-producing coffin. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Right. <laughs> Whatever you say, great. Check right. This out. During the first phase of version 1.1 1. 1 in the okay. character war, contract zero. Mm -hmm. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character Silver Wolf. Yep, Silver Wolf During is the there. Same phase there. in the light cone event war, the drop rate of the five-star light cone incessant rain will be boosted. Mm -hmm. Now during the second phase of version 1.1, 1. 1 second phase will be um... late pursuit. Ah, oh, second can phase is where uh, five-star character Lacha and four-star character Yukon. I hope you is not, li not limited though. In the light cone event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone echoes of the coffin will be boosted. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, I almost forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. When version 1.2 rolls around, Trailblazers can take part in an in game event to obtain the four star character Yukong for free. Nice. <laughs> Details for this nice. Will be announced through official channels nice. I I'm like I love it. Nice. Ooh, I'm awesome. loving it even more now. Gosh. <laughs> Let's take a break for a minute here. But uh, when we get back, we'll be talking version 1.1 of it. I'm like I'm liking this um special program even more now. As I was saying, right, this special program is practically the um, the format of this special program is like one of those um, late night shows that you watch on uh, on national television, and uh, and of course, um, typical um, Weibo style, they are starting things off with the um, showing off the trade. They starting things off with the introduction, and then the trailer, and then. Uh, after that is the um, the character introduction, and last uh, and then they're gonna continue on with the the events in that in that particular version, and lastly an an outro or maybe a um, real life um, event of some sort. But from from the way I, um, from the way I see right, this the way Hongkai Star Real. Handle the, the special <laughs> weapon to me. Welcome back, I kind of prefer, prefer it way aside. more than version one point one has lots of honest. events and gameplay. Not, 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 I'm not saying that uh, Genshin does is kind of uh, is bad at so how they handle the special weapon, but <laughs> Honkai does it like I heard way better and more interactive uh, compared to Genshin. What? Kafka's mission was to awaken the Trailblazer. Uh -huh. Silverwolf's mission was to help Kafka infiltrate the space station systems and locate the hidden Stellaron. But that wasn't enough for Silverwolf. Uh -huh. mm, I can believe that. She's been on the IPC's wanna list for as long as I can remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. During the invasion, she left behind some kind of digital graffiti. Just her way of letting everyone know Silver Wolf was here. <laughs> way okay. to rub it in their faces, Silver Wolf. It, still, artists need an outlet. <laughs> this all sounds like classic Silver Wolf energy to me. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the name of her home world. Punk Lord. Kind of okay. fitting, don't you think? <laughs> you <laughs> okay. <be> me. <laughs> no way. Afraid so. I think she was destined for this kind of behavior. Anyway, in the Star Hunt game event, the Trailblazers receive an invite from the Space Station's network security engineer, Leonard. They okay. have to help Leonard locate the digital graffiti hidden across the station and uncover the secrets inside. Wait, yeah. there are secrets hidden inside the graffiti? But if it's all digital... Oh, I bet you need to hack into it or something. <laughs> you might be right. We also get to meet a new Genius Society member, one of Madame Herta's collaborators, Screwlum. He'll be helping the Trailblazers, too. Boy, haven't we seen Screwlum before somewhere? I think we saw a hologram portrait of him in Herta's office. He's oh, a robot, right? A robot okay, okay. Society I, got, member. I got you. Interesting. I got you. 
I bet he's got a few hacker skills up his sleeve. If he's helping us out too, I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> you know what I found out? Silverwolf and Screwlum actually faced off against each other once. You can oh, see a snapshot okay. of their fight in the We Will Meet Again light cone. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Hey, Screwlum, looking that, kinda handsome That's a fine looking Jeez, um, light cone really to be very do honest. Justice. <clears throat> you know, uh, and this like one is for the the like the need a moment here, you know, the rest of us can head out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess this event will be the second time Skrulem's come up against Silverwolf's mischief. Then, old enemies locking horns once again. Ooh, guess it does kind of feel like a rematch. I gotta mention that graffiti again. Anyone else feel like it make for a good tattoo? I feel like some of these characters could pull it off. I don't think that feature is coming to Star Rail anytime soon. Oh, what? <laughs> but I did hear that the designs are collectible. The Trailblazer can apply them to in-game surfaces and take photos with the artwork. So well, that's cool. cool. Collecting the graffiti designs also allows you to unlock the limited four-star light cone before Wait, the tutorial mission starts. Before this Complete is limited? Complete the event mission to obtain Always Smiling, which can be exchanged in the event shop for oh, limited light Oh, okay, light so I think I know how it was. Super imposition because light cones, um, as well as Stellar in, uh, Jade. Hey, that's another good-looking um, light cone. Weapons. Uh, not to change the subject um, or anything, but I gotta ask. So, is that in Albert other words, right, this is a... Uh, scene over there? Event limited um, light cone slash weapon. <laughs> well, uh, to mention it, uh, why don't I introduce you to the Hype PC's merchandise department? If you guys had your own merch, they'd be sold out in no time. <laughs> or maybe let's just get back to version 1.1 for now. Mm -hmm. In the story thus far, Bellabog has finally emerged from the Stellaron shadow. But there's a lot left to do. The city is going through changes. Any of you guys want to shed some light? I heard a thing or two. Now that the Underworld and Overworld are reconnected, things are definitely heading in a better direction. One recent development, Bellabog's History Museum is getting ready to reopen to the public. Museum? Okay. I love museums! Aww. Don't you wish you could take the exhibits home with you, though? The only problem is, exhibits are being stolen. What? Anything you'd like to tell us, Melissa? <laughs> oh, wait a minute! I only just found out they had a museum. How could it have been me? Oh, I didn't say it was you. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. Prime suspect. Anyway, in the Everwinter City Museum Ledger of Curiosities event, okay. the Trailblazer must help Pala track down clues and recover the lost exhibits. <laughs> nice. Well, I love a good who done it. Yeah, sounds great. Well, that's not all. The Trailblazer can take on managerial responsibilities and help run the place. Huh. Oh. So what does that involve exactly? I'm glad you asked. The Trailblazer can do things like collect exhibits and enlist other individuals to improve the overall experience for visitors. After achieving specific operational goals, they can accumulate funds to expand the museum's exhibits and gradually unlock limited time rewards, such as okay. stellar jade, lost crystals, and self-modeling resin. Mm, Self-modeling? Like what? I'm sure it'll be a piece of cake. When the limited time event is over, the museum Some will remain as a mode I, I'm within gonna the need game. That, sure. Trailblazers can return to the museum at any time to check out the collection and catch up with colleagues. Of course, okay. if you encounter any issues during the running of the museum, please don't hesitate to get in touch with the IPC. Wait, we can have the service. No, <laughs> <laughs> I get out of myself, buddy. <laughs> a deep breath, Albert. Not everything is an IPC sales pitch. <sighs> This is okay. what happens if you read commercials for a living. <laughs> no worries. Kind of did sound like a useful service. Maybe the IPC should look into it. Uh, I'm sure our trailblazers are more interested in the content of the new version. Uh, let's get back on track. Aye. All right. A researcher from the space station found a combat more simulation okay, program of an unknown origin called Stellar Flare, which contains a series of new challenge stages. Huh? More challenges? Every stage in Stellar Flare has a challenge theme and corresponding special mechanism. Okay. Trailblazers will have to think outside the box and use any advantages offered by the mechanisms to complete the stage in as few turns as possible. Oh, buddy. Sounds like the Forgotten Hall to me. 
The difference with Stellar Flare is that the special mechanisms might require completely new ways of thinking about combat. Oh, For example, buddy. in some stages, using your skill this doesn't might be these advantages in others, damage dealt for, when breaking an enemy's toughness is increased. Uh, for an FTP the player like me, because I only have a very hmm, few um, sounds pretty cool, characters. But I'm fact. sure Silverwolf will take care of it in one turn. Uh, what if I haven't leveled up enough characters? Yeah, Is that's it the impossible thing. for me to complete the challenge? Don't worry. Good to question for you. Trailblazers in completing the challenge. Every Stellar Flare stage has a trial character suited to the theme. Oh, thank you goodness. Say. I can get behind that. <laughs> the Garden of Plenty event. Recently, the cosmos okay, has entered a turbulent cycle, and the calyxes are unusually active. Okay, the this Garden of Plenty is similar as to how the uh, exponentially. The same thing as how uh, the, the Genshin uh, <laughs> end, end, end of the week, end of the week, Trailblazers of the version. I forgot what's the name of I forgot what's the name of the term. Double the rewards from Calyxes. So Leveling basically, up, it's a um, double reward. It's a double reward event, event we're gonna just like the one in Genshin. Called Lab Assistance in Position. Wen Shuling is a Department of Implement Arts researcher on Herta Space Station, and she's currently preparing research topics needed for the next quarter. However, the Antimatter Legion's invasion has messed up her progress. Hmm. As a result, Wen Shuling has asked the Trailblazer to help her collect monster materials for use in her research topic. If the Trailblazer collects and submits the experimental materials required on a given day, they can receive corresponding rewards. I got a question, Dawn. Fire away! These are Space Station and Bellabog events, right? Aren't there any events or missions on the Sienjo Lofu? <laughs> you beat me to Once it. Again, That's exactly what question. I was about to bring up. In version 1.1, three new companion missions are destined companion for the missions. Sienjo Lofu. These missions will involve Bailu, Yin Ching, and Lo Cha. As for the specifics, I'm gonna keep that a secret for then now. Why is we can't go spoiling in the all the fun, though. can we? What? Ugh, not even one detail? Come on, Don. Can you give us a little something? We're on the edge of our seats here. Hold on, Silver. Yeah, come on, Don. Uh, Hold right, on a minute. Right. Well, um... Do you guys remember the girl with the blindfold in the opening trailer? Yes. And now, young man, allow me to give you a dignified end. <gasps> I was wondering who she was. Well, all I'll say is that she and the Sienjo have a complicated past. And her appearance on the Sienjo leads to a dramatic encounter with Cloud Knight Lieutenant Yin Ching. Mm -hmm. And that's all you're getting. Sorry. <laughs> the surprises are worth the... I just, I just realized oh, the, 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 the lady with the blindfold. No, I'm afraid that's the, all you I believe it's the same However, lady that appeared in the um, in the updates. animated short. Interested. I mean, it's, it's the same uh, sure, the, the lady that appeared in the, in the animated short. Well, I might, I might be wrong. If nobody's that interested, then I suppose I'll just. Hmm. Of course, we're interested. What, are you crazy? Albert, you're interested, right? <sighs> Albert. <laughs> That's better, good boy. <laughs> Nicely done, Melissa. The check-in event, Gift of Odyssey, will also what? be arriving in, the... in version 1.1. For the length of this version, as long as Trailblazers log in for seven days, they can acquire ten Star Rail special passes. What the hell? Ten free warps? Nice. Ten free warps? Version 1.1 will also see some system updates. Okay. When Trailblazers need to obtain leveling materials that only a certain type of enemy can produce, they can instantly teleport to an area where the enemy is present, as well as pinpoint okay. the precise location of the enemy on the map with a marker. Sounds like a real time saver. This is the, this is the same function as how uh, once the enemy in question uh, is how defeated, Genshin had. The but let's talk about that. That, that, that the 10 free pass, man. I do not remember Genshin had that kind of stuff, man. Defeated, and every day. Continue to pinpoint oh, yeah, technically they do have maps. it, but they. This process can be repeated until in all a, daily in a, in a way they do have it. Have been defeated. Oh, that's a lifesaver. I barely found my way to the studio today. <laughs> There's also a small combat surprise in store. During combat, trotters that have lost their way may randomly enter battle. As long as the trotter is defeated before it manages to flee, additional leveling materials can be obtained. Enemy okay. geolocation and additional material opportunities? Devs, I owe you one. Last but not least, in order to help trailblazers stay in touch, version 1.1 also has a friend chat function. Okay. <gasps> so you mean, aside from helping friends through support assist, we can send them messages too? Mm-hmm, you got it. 
Doesn't matter if they're old companions or new acquaintances. That's the spirit of trailblazing right there. <laughs> oh, hey, Albert, what's your account? Let me add you. Uh, what? I need to add you. No, I... <laughs> you can be my personal IPC customer service. What do you think? Hello. Hey, don't get an idea. It's because I nearly made up a service that doesn't exist. <laughs> hmm. So you don't want to add me? Guess I'll just have to hack you. Boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can negotiate. Yeah, I'm going to need those account details, too. Count me in. Sorry to jump on the bandwagon here, Albert, but you're a celebrity anchor for the IPC. Everyone wants to be your friend. <sighs> Fine. But I'm switching my account the next chance I get. Time for today's third redemption code. Hmm? Ah, time flies when you're having fun. Looks like our special program is coming to an end. Oh, darn. <laughs> but as the first guest on the program, you guys got any thoughts? Reflections? Complaints? Oh, it's been an honor to be on the show, Albert. I gotta say, we covered a lot of ground. Now I'm even more excited for the updates. Fingers crossed I get Silverwall. <laughs> yeah, seriously, same. Great. How you feeling? I feel like I've got more questions than I came in with. What new directions will La Cha take the story in? Who's stealing exhibits from the museum? And what about those companion missions? <sighs> Guess we'll have to find out the answers in game. Mm, yep. Yeah, <laughs> for real. As for me, well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'd seen a lot of Yu Kong up to now, but this was the first time I got to understand her moves and role on the battlefield. Yeah, I kind of wish I had so it. Cool. I kind of want to be her. Then I again, kind of wish I, I guess guess. kind of am her. Wait, hold on. Uh, I, I just, I just remember. Like that. We are, we'll be getting uh, the <laughs> free Yu Kong in version 1.2 anyway, so yeah. I don't program. mind waiting. I because I'm saving up for Capcom as a matter of fact. See you on the flip side. <laughs> see you in the game! Bye! Bye see you when I see you. Later, guys. Bye! Cheerio! Well, this was fun. You didn't think it was over, did you? Wait, there's more? You on 6.5. Okay. <laughs> that's definitely Silver Wolf for sure. Definitely. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys like this up, I do appreciate a thumbs up or a comment in the video. So far, I'm liking the format and execution on Honkai Star Wars special program and how they make it as if it's a late night show, just like the ones we see on television. And I hope it may they maintain it that way because Genshin special program is not that bad, but I feel like something is lacking in the special program. Leave a comment below and voice your, your thoughts on the special program. Anyway, my name is AJ and I will see you guys next time.